Hey, it's me, Bad Bam back. Finally, okay, no, I had been to Europe before a couple of years ago. My husband took me to Italy and oh my God, it was the best. But yeah, I'd never been to France and it was one of my bucket list places. I'd always wanted to go. And finally, we got to go to France. So my husband, my father-in-law, my stepson and I, we all went to Paris for a few days. I guess it's good that it was kind of in cooler weather. It was spring. It's not winter, but it's not summer. So I could still wear my wig and look nice in photos. Winter fashion is also good. It's hard to pack for though, because everything's so heavy and bulky. It was the best trip. They arrived earlier than I did, like a day earlier. My flight got delayed. That's another story. I'm going to go into it later. I arrived at 6 a.m. at Charles de Gaulle, got an Uber from the airport and went to the hotel to meet my husband and my stepson and my father-in-law. We were staying at the Hotel Diva Opera in the Opera District. <laughs> All of the hotels, I think, are quite narrow and small and in old buildings. It looked like an old building on the outside, but on the inside, it was kind of newly renovated. My husband actually <laughs> stayed there with his first wife on their honeymoon. But yeah, apparently it had changed heaps. Anyway, super awkward. Our first meal, our first breakfast was Macca's, so... I think I got a quarter pound a meal. Yeah, it's pretty good. My husband, he's obsessed with Pulp Fiction. So he's like, yeah, we have to go get Mac. He loves getting Maccas in every country. But he's like, yeah, a quarter pounder is a Royale with cheese. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? And what do they call it? They call it a Royale with cheese. That's why we had to go, whatever. And then we took the Metro, which wasn't my favorite. I'm not really a huge fan of public transport systems aside from Japan. And I think I compare everything to the Japanese Metro and Japanese train system, which is just leaps and bounds beyond everywhere else. Anyway, it was kind of gross and I was afraid of pickpockets and I was afraid of bed bugs. Luckily, we didn't experience any pickpockets or bed bugs. The first day we just walked around the city, it was really nice. We had time tickets to enter the Pompidou Center, which is a modern art gallery, and it's actually inside out. So the outside of the building looks like the inside. Really cool. It has an amazing view of the city. It was probably my favorite gallery that we went to. Got to see the whole city from there. And there was lots of cool modern art, lots of fashion as well. It was beautiful. We got to see Kandinsky's. It was wonderful. After that, we had to quickly go to Versailles. So we were supposed to do this the day before, but obviously my plane got delayed, so I couldn't be there. So we had to quickly take the train to Versailles, but it was really hard because we had the Paris Metro card, but obviously Versailles is not included in the Metro because it's out in the country. But we were going to miss our train if we didn't just get on the next one because, again, we had time to entry into Versailles. But we just tapped our Metro cards and then at the end we couldn't tap out because they were like, you have to get a special ticket. But we were like, oh, sorry. Anyway, we had to pay a fine. <laughs> Don't recommend. But it was really hard to navigate the Metro card system. We had a Versailles tour. It was packed and I'm glad we didn't go in summer because it was really warm and stuffy in there. There were so many people. I dread to think of what it'll be like in summertime. You know... I think once you've seen any kind of older museum, kind of all the same, portrait of this dude, portrait of that dude, portrait of this lady, portrait of a baby, portraits of Jesus. I mean, it was beautiful and all, but probably wouldn't go back there.
happy to do with the crown, wouldn't you? The gardens were also nice. They were renovating them at the time. That night we were going to a Paris Saint-Germain game, PSG, because my stepson is obsessed with them, you know, Mbappe and all that. So we just got an Uber back from Versailles. That was really good for us. I'd been to the soccer in Australia to see A-League games and they were kind of meh. And I don't know, the Australian sporting vibe is people boo a lot. They half-ass all the chants. I was so impressed with the PSG game. The cheer squad on the PSG side, they went non-stop the whole time and the cheers were super catchy. We had amazing seats as well. And it was really cool because they had a Kung Fu Panda guy <laughs> dressed up as Kung Fu Panda. Originally, because PSG was playing the bottom team, so they weren't going to have the big stars come out. But then they ended up, they were losing. So three quarter, no, not three quarter time, but in the second half towards the end, they brought out Mbappe and I think it's Pa. Anyway, they brought out those two guys because they needed to win. PSG won, so it was amazing. The next day. We went to Sacre Coeur. So we walked there. My husband said, it's the best view of Paris. It really was. We got to go inside the church, which was nice, but people were actually praying. So I was like, oh, I feel weird taking videos and photos and stuff. We went up the tower, which was so many steps and it was so slippery. And I was really worried for my father-in-law because he's old. And he decided to wear Aaron Williams, which is super slippery and not at all comfortable. And he was struggling going up the stairs. But once we got up there, you get a 360 degree view of Paris. So that was amazing. Then after that, we were going to go to the Louvre, but we needed to have a little bit of a snack and a little bit of a lunch. So we ate at a cafe kind of near the Louvre. I think it was mostly for tourists. I had this roast beef sandwich. That was amazing. It was so good. Okay, so this annoyed me about the Louvre. Obviously, it's massive and there's no way you can see everything in one visit unless you kind of rush to the important things. So my husband got a tour for us. It said to be there at 3 p.m., because it closes at 4.30 and it was a one and a half hour tour. And we were on time, actually early. We got there at three o'clock and we were just kind of waiting and it started to rain. So we waited kind of underground. But yeah, there were all these people that were super late and had no concept of time, I guess. And oh my God, they only paid to get 
express entrance into the Louvre and they just wanted to leave, which was really annoying for us because we had to wait for them and then they were really loud and really obnoxious and just, oh, it's horrible. I liked our tour guide. She was really nice and clearly amazing. She was really passionate about the art and she spoke Chinese. English and French. She spent so long on the beginning parts, the ancient Greek sculptures and all that, which was really interesting, but what about the rest of it? So we went through all that. We went through like ancient Egypt. Again, I'm really glad that I didn't come in summer because it would have been boiling and disgusting and stuffy in there. It was already kind of stuffy. We saw the Mona Lisa, she gave us insider info, she said, yeah, stand off to the left, get your picture and go, so that was really good. The Louvre, you know, it was okay. We had to rush through the end bits because of the latecomers at the start and how she was kind of obsessed with the sculptures at the beginning. And then we just walked through the Louvre gardens, we decided to have dinner at this Clearly also for tourists, the food was kind of meh, but it had a really good view. It's the ninth arrondissement. Anyway, I had this milfoy that was goat's cheese and veggies. It was pretty good. My husband was like, yeah, we can get desserts. My ex-boyfriend when I was a teenager, his family friend used to make this amazing rum baba. Obviously there was no alcohol in it. I was like, oh, it was such a good cake. They had rum baba as a special for the desserts. I was like, we have to get that. But it was super gross and rummy, swimming in the rum, and it was super alcoholy. And, oh, it was not good at all. Kind of meh tart. It was old puff pastry with strawberries on it. It looked nice, but it was, yeah, meh. So every single day, except the first day where we went to McDonald's, we've gotten breakfast at this little cafe that's down the street from our hotel. And they love having these giant Costco bears outside, which is really cute. And the guy there, he knew us. So they had a special breakfast menu, and we all always got less which was coffee get an orange juice a croissant and a piece of baguette bread and butter butter and jam every time i would go i'd get a cafe cramp you know what was weird i'm lactose intolerant but i could drink milk there so i don't know if it's just australian milk can't drink milk at home but i can drink milk in europe bread and butter was absolutely amazing definitely the best thing i ever ate in france first he was like cafe noisette and i was like no cafe cramp and he's like oh yeah i always tried to speak french where i could but they would just speak english to me not in a mean way, but it's just like, oh, I wanted to practice my French. Never mind. The next day. It was a big walking day. We stopped and got tea and coffee a lot. We walked up the Champs-Élysées. Went to see the Arc de Triomphe, which was amazing. Lots and lots of walking. Then after that, we looked at the shops on the Champs-Élysées. Oh my God, the Louis Vuitton store, they were renovating it. So they made the outside, like rather than scaffolding, look like a Louis Vuitton truck. It was amazing. Everyone was really nice. I went into the Sandro store and they were just so nice. I wish I could have bought something, but never mind. Then for lunch, we saw Five Guys, which I've never had before. It was delicious, but it was so stressful. Walked in, I ordered everything in French. They give you a cup and you fill up the drinks by yourself, unless it's a shake. You have a number, they'll call out this number. And I was like 108, so I was just like, okay, sans tweet, sans tweet in my head. Everyone's just standing around and there's this huge guy 
with a giant voice yelling out the order numbers. And if you don't get it pretty much straight away, they take it away. So, oh my God, oh my God, the stress. I got our order. <laughs> and with the chips, we ordered one set of chips each. And he just put in another shovel full of chips. It was amazing. Very filling. We walked down the Champs Elysees. To the obelisk which is also cool and then we just kept walking around luckily it got nice that day so it started off really cold and gloomy and kind of a little bit drizzly but then it started to get really hot and sunny Then my stepson wanted all this PSG stuff and he was getting kind of tired. So we took the Metro, which yeah, I'm not a huge fan of. I was so lucky. So my stepson and I watched Emily in Paris together. And then my husband was like, oh, do you guys want to go see where they film Emily in Paris? And I was like, hell yeah. So it was a little bit out of our way and we had to take the train. We went to the little square where they film Emily in Paris. It's quite a trendy neighborhood. It was nice and quiet. It was really clean. Yeah, you can see Emily's apartment, Gabrielle's restaurant. And then my father-in-law and my stepson went to go rest at the hotel. But then my husband took me to Gallery Lafayette. So remember how we went to the one in Doha that was based on the French one? Anyway, we went to the French one. It was so beautiful, so packed. And the best part about Gallery Lafayette, okay, they have the roof, the beautiful roof. And we stopped at Joe and the Juice and got to sit there and look at it. You go up to the roof and you have an amazing view of Paris. And it was free, so that was really cool. Then after that, we saw this ramen place near our hotel called Nickel Ramen. So we got that. It was pretty meh, not great. <laughs> they don't do Asian food so well there. After we walked around Gallery Lafayette, we stumbled upon this arcade, like a shopping arcade, and it was similar to the ones that we had in Melbourne. And my husband's like, yeah, this could just be down Collins Street. It's Paris. It's just so much nicer, isn't it? All the shops were beautiful and old and there were bookstores and cosmetics. It was lovely. The next day. We went back to our breakfast place, got the speed with my cafe creme. <laughs> And then we went to the Tour de la Feu, the Eiffel Tower. It was a cloudy day. It was still amazing. They have all these people selling little trinkets and stuff. Got some good pics and B-roll. And I was like, I want one of us too, because <laughs> my husband and I don't have many photos together. Then after that, we went and found this cafe. It was really nice, very French. And I got a croque monsieur, which is just like a grilled cheese with ham in it. It was delicious. I don't really like ham, cheese, not so much. But yeah, it was amazing. Neither of them were that salty. It was amazing. Then we had timed entry tickets to the Musée d'Orsay. My husband, <laughs> he just sped through everything. We did not look at anything very well. We saw lots of Van Goghs, saw Starry Night, I had to wait ages.
as you can see, we're probably not museum people because they were tired. It was really good. The next day, my stepson and my father in law were flying home, and then my husband and I continued on. So, stay tuned because we take the Eurostar. 